I'm going to call this meeting to order. It's 5 o'clock, March 30th, 2023, for the special call meeting. I would like to ask David Coleman for a word of prayer, please. Let's bow our heads. Father God, we just want to thank you today. We thank you for our wonderful city and county, Lord. And Lord, we're just asking you to be in this meeting, that we get an understanding and be on one accord tonight, Lord. And we thank you for all the officials that's here tonight and for the one that's out. And Lord, we just give you the praise and the honor and the glory. Amen and amen. 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 <clears throat> thank you. Okay. Before you have the minutes of the last meeting, I would like to ask for a motion to accept the minutes of the last meeting after y'all review or any questions or deletions. I make the motion we accept the February meeting minutes. Second. Motion by Mary Bell. Second it by Tony. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Motion carries. Okay. Um, Tara's out today. She had some other things that came up. So we're going to go on past the city attorney. Before you have your financial reports for the bank balances and income and statements and payable accounts, after they're reviewed, I would like to ask for a motion to accept the financial reports as read. Motion, to motion by Mary Bell. I'll second it. Second by Jerry Likens. All in favor say aye. Aye. Always like side. Motion carries. Thank you. Okay. Action required. No business. Ordinance 2023-01 business license. You have an updated copy that the city attorney has gave you. Um, with that being said, I'll entertain the a motion or corrections, deletions, comments. Well, uh, I, I would make a motion that we table this because I'd like to read it all the way through again. Because there are numerous changes that were made, and I would like that opportunity. I'll second that motion. I'd like to review the changes as well. So I've got a motion to table this for review for the next meeting. Um, I have a first by Mary Bell, second by Stacia. Um, so. This will give, I guess, y'all are wanting the opportunity to review this review. because you just got it a while right. ago. Yeah. Okay. All right. I've got a first and second on tabling this to the April. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, April meeting yeah. Um, <coughs> to go over this. That gives right. So I got a first and second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Pulls like side, motion carries. All right. Okay, um, if you go through your packet, we've had two bids on our uh, mowing at Ellis Park. After review, um, you got one from, let's see, Jordan Overstreet, I think it's, is it Lawn, lawn and Order or something like that? Lawn and Order. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for $1,350. The other one is... Beaver Dam Emergency, and his was twelve sixty eight eighty eight. 
I will ask for a motion to accept one of these bids. Can I ask a question? Yes, ma'am. Uh, now, Jordan is the one who has done it previously. Yes, ma'am. And how long has Mr. Dance been in business doing I, this? No, I don't, I don't know that one for sure, to be honest with you. Um, Does that include that bank on the park? Yes. For both of them? Mm-hmm. I'd make a motion to go for the 1,350. I second that motion. So that's the Mr. law. Mr. Overstreet. Mr. Overstreet. They've done a good job for us yeah, in the past. Yeah, they've been doing it. Okay. Doing a good job. Consistent. I have no complaints with him. If he sees something, he lets Lisa know or lets me know, you know, we get it took care of. Okay. So I have a motion by Stacia. No, Jerry. Uh, no, I'm sorry. You got it all. I'm sorry. I'm trying to help you out here. Um, to go with the uh, law and order. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like side. Motion carries. Okay. What is it? Yes, that was the lowest bid. No, it we went with, We went with our previous service because they're consistency. Okay, so. If you look through your packets here for the no, that's is that in our packets there? There's nothing there on. Okay, there's nothing on there. I'll explain this on the multi-use trail engineer fees for seventy-five thousand. That is our bike trail that we've got the grant for, and basically we will get half of that back once this starts the process. But this is the first initial project piece that we got to put together. This is the phase that we're taking on this. And I, I'd like to ask if we could get the 75000 out of uh, occupational to pay for this engineer fee to get the process rolling. I'll make the motion that we take it out of occupational to oh. get this uh, trail engineering going. Can we have a real quick discussion yes. question? Oh. Yep. Um, and I'm for it too. Previously, this was a gentleman's agreement, right? Is this more contractual now? Yeah, it's... It's just for the engineer yeah, fees only. It's okay. engineer yeah. fees only. Okay. And I, once we pass, if we pass this, I want to follow up with that question right there in itself. Okay. So, all right, I got a first and second to take this out of occupational pack to, to, to pay for this. Uh... All in favor say aye. Aye. Polls like sigh. To follow up with that mm -hmm. statement, I would like to have discussion if you want to have discussion with that. This is very important to the city to get this project going. Yes. Um, with that being said, with or without the help of the county, I'd like to entertain the motion that we set back $6,250 monthly out of occupational with or without to get this project completed. That is saving grace to get this project going. How much? 6000 what? 6250 okay. and And that's just a handshake type right. deal. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's just something that I think it's important to the city <coughs> to go on this is a what if case scenario. This is not saying that it, we have to, but I want to secure this basically. So, um, if we do though, and we secure this, and we start the project, and then other people fall through, are we liable for the entire yes. of the project? Yes. What's the total of that? I think no, it, we're not liable. Uh, we're, we're just engineering. Fees. Just engineering. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Just for yeah. the seventy-five thousand. Yeah. Okay. Sixty-two fifty times twelve is seventy-five. Yeah. Okay. So it'd be like one. <clears throat> 197 or something like mm -hmm. that. With the whole yeah. So that's that's the whole entirety of it. Okay. Uh, but it, the 75,000 is for is just engineering yeah. only. That's all the Okay. Yeah. Where we're at. So that's that's just like I said this is a worst case scenario, but I I feel like it's important to secure that just in case. Okay. So Okay. Go ahead. Sorry to interrupt whoever no, made a motion. Did I make the motion? I think you did. I don't know. No, you just know where I'm 
<laughs> I don't think nobody made the motion on oh, that yet. On the application of tax? For the 6000 I will make a motion that we set that money aside for the completion of this. Should Just in case. I mean, uh, oh, yeah. I've got a first and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed like so. Thank you. And I think it's... I think it's important to see these projects go through instead of having to give money back. Um, you know, we we hope the county helps us out in the next little bit if we, if if they and we'll we'll hold them to it. But more importantly, we got to go on with the project. All right, thank you. Okay, in front of you in your package, <coughs> um, it's the Ellis Park project improvements. I want to also thank uh, Councilman Jeff Renfro and David Coleman and Tony Renfro. They've been going to the Ellis Park. They've got a hold of Jeremy Crow and them, and they've been doing um, some work to the grounds, trying to get people back out there. Um, they are going to mold the insides, do dirt work, and so they're wanting to see these projects go forward. So. Um do we need to hold off on too much heavy stuff though until we get that grant because we can't be retroactive in any kind of uh, um, in kind reimbursement far as like Dem demolition or anything so um, we're just going to go on yeah and yeah okay. yeah yeah we can always find something else to follow up on that grant with okay so that, that that'll still be okay um, so here's, yeah, you got that right there. And then there should be a picture on the back side. Okay. Yeah. And this is, this is just a proposal, um, to purchase this playground equipment, 45194 And folks, this has already been allocated for the Ellis Park. It's already in a, in a separate account for that. Um, so this budget will be running out in July. Um, so it's up to you if, if you would like to go on and purchase this equipment. How much is in that account? Where's Do that we money? lose that money if we don't? Or? No, I, 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 no, no. It, you don't lose that. No, okay. no. It was just something that was itemized to for the park itself. Yeah. Do they have an idea of when this equipment might come in, or is it? Uh... So, he's on his honeymoon right now. He's in Cancun, I think. Once he gets back, I can have it ordered within four to five weeks. Well, we'll and the rent. and the basic thing is, is if we do this, Jason and them can take the old stuff out. And get that off. Yeah, there's a lot of them, anyways. We put stuff up to keep them from falling off of it. They keep the boards off. They like board up. There's nothing. You know, there's nothing there on that. And we got swings and the eagles nest. But that other thing, I'd really like to get it done because that's just a liability. You know, we've already been through one lawsuit on it. Yeah. And, uh, I'd like to get it so done. you know where this is going to be sitting then. Yeah, okay. basically in the okay. existing spot where the other playground equipment will be. Yeah. I want a piece of pretty good size. Have you been to the playground? Mm -hmm. No. <coughs> no. He was four last time he was there. So we're not asking for grant money for this. Right. Yeah. Grant money for. And, uh, yeah, we can still add on. But that's what I told yeah, Jeff. That's what I thought. So I told yeah. Jeff if we purchase this, the playground guy, guy can get us uh, everything to blend in with this okay. and expand that on out. Okay. I like to make the motion and go ahead with it as soon as possible. I second it. Okay. A third it. <laughs> yeah. We've been talking about it long enough. Yeah, I mean, it's a step in the right direction. It is. It is. I mean, it. It's a step. So, yeah. We can look into something, getting rid of that fence and putting a nicer fence up mm -hmm. on the road and all that, too. Yes. Yes. The old fence, you know, we need to look down the road and replace it. Yes. You know. 
So we got yep. I gotta work on you. Okay. Yeah. Jeff is taking the lead with this, even though I was and kind he, of and appointed and I'm I'm not and he's done y'all all have done a good job on this. Uh, yeah, yep. there's a lot the, of involvement in the Okay, so that would be what that we would, apply for grant yes. funding for. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. I think it was like thirty six thousand okay. yeah. for the light. So okay. good deal. I think it's I mean uh, I, I just think it's a good thing. Uh, you know, we've had that other plan for so long. Let's just let's just move on past that. Well, yeah. Another guy that's going to take care of the infield. Yeah, and, all that. and that's what I told them. So. They're going to bring in clay and mm -hmm. all kinds of stuff. But I didn't Don't worry about that. Just move me farther out. You know, yeah. take care of the infield. So mm -hmm. we right. Okay. Yeah. All right. I have a first and second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Polls like side, motion carries. Thank you all. Uh, I, I know it's important. Okay. Appreciate it. Okay, the last thing that's on the agenda for new business is the municipal order 2023 discretionary expenses. Uh, basically, that that was the last discussion at the meeting to up it to 5000 um, so we just have to uh, have a motion second. Make a motion. I have a motion by Tony. A second. Second by Stacia. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like side, motion carries. <clears throat> okay. Um, we have some visitors. Would y'all like to say anything? Do y'all have anything that y'all need to... Uh, well, actually, yes. Bring to the table. You're real sure about this we now. We wouldn't let Amy talk, but she had to leave. But um, I know you tabled the discussion for the business licenses, and um, I know that that's something that some of you want to read about, but I think you probably had time to, you know, at least read that section. But um, the part is that... If you're going to use your occupational tax to pay for all these other things, wouldn't that help bring more money into your occupational tax fund if you did charge for food trucks coming into the county? I mean, it makes sense to me. And then if you've got this money you want to do other projects with, that helps to build that fund. So that's, you know, that that's what one reason that I see that. Another reason is... You know, we have very few downtown businesses. Very, very few. We have very few people that come to our downtown businesses because there's nothing else here. If we bring other businesses in from other counties and they don't leave any of their money here with our county, that's taken away from the people who live here, who work here, who play here, who want to go to Ellis Park who want to go out to the county park, who want to do things here in our county. And these other places, they come in, they do their business, they pay the time, and their money goes back to where they came from. So that's another reason that I think that you should pass that ordinance. Another reason is we pay taxes, property taxes, business licenses, all kinds of money to our city and our county. They don't. And it's not fair. And it's not right. And they take away, let's say, I know Annie told us it was 75%. She lost 75% on Thursday when Chauvin's here. Mm -hmm. She sent two employees home. <clears throat> they lost out. She lost out. Um, yeah. She said it was, yeah. She, mm -hmm. 75%. She said by the time she paid all of her bills and everything that day, she made $20. You know, we can't su support our businesses in downtown Hartford like that, guys. And we're really, like, I know some of them are, like, a um, fundraiser, but, like, 10%. That's like, all they do. So that, that they like, make, Because we ask, and they said, well, we only make 10%. Well, and Annie, too, has said that she would offer fundraisers, and she's put it out there, and people haven't, you know, accepted. So, I mean, you know, she would do a fundraiser. But, you know, if they're only getting 10%, that's not a whole lot of 
fundraising. You know, if they don't, I mean, they hit us businesses up anyway, but they, you know, I still, you know, they could, they could do more as far as accepting help from us for a fundraiser because Annie's offered and they've not taken it up and make more money, you know, locally. So, and, 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 and we understand with the fundraising, but, you know, they, they're not fundraising every week they're here. They're not fundraising every when week. When they're here three times a week. Here. Yeah. And, like, one of the nursing homes has had somebody every single day for the last three weeks. So, I'm just saying, you think about that, multiply that by business fee for the city, you're adding money to your funds that you can use for things around the city. Plus, it's at least something that they're supporting our city with. Right now, they're not giving us jack crap, okay? Nothing. And it, it's just not fair to those of us who put so much into our daily work. And I'm just telling you like it is, guys. We, can, we don't have to stay here. We can go to another town. You know, but or we, we can want close, we but we don't want to. We love our city. That's the whole reason we, you know, started. But, you know, this. I think there's a reason why they don't go to Beaver Dam. I, I mean, I, I'm not sure, but I think Beaver Dam has some ordinances against that. But plus, they're having to pay three more percent on top exactly. of that. Yeah. So I just want you all, when you're reading it, to think about your businesses here too, because I, it cuts deep. It really does. And, and you we know, don't care that they come in some, but we need to level the playing field. And they, you know, they should have to pay what we have to pay as far as that. And then maybe, you know, restrict them that they're not here parked out front every week, once a week. I mean, we have something else, you know, like we have merchandise that helps us, but Annie doesn't have anything. It's food only for her. That's it. You know, so I, you know, I'm sure it probably hurts her more than, you know, it does because mm -hmm. when you're strictly just food. So, you know, we just want you to consider it a little bit and just think about it. Of, you know, we don't want to be an uninviting city as far as other businesses and stuff. But you know what? If, if that, other, if that <coughs> new truck wants to go, there's a, a empty building four doors down from us. We would gladly welcome them to put a restaurant right there. We would love for somebody to go in that space. You know, if they wanted, you know, if they're doing a good business in Ohio County, come put us something right there. Come put a restaurant there. We would love that. We need a night restaurant in Hartford. We would love for somebody to open something up. You know, next door is available for us. It's not a big enough space for that, but we would love a bakery or, you know, anything to go. You know, we've got some empty spaces we'd love for some people to go into. You know, maybe that's what we need to encourage as far as, you know, some of these food trucks. Because the more people we can get downtown, the better it is for all of us. So, my question, are you against it for nonprofits as well? I mean, you just don't think food trucks are a good idea, period, in our city? Or you just want some... We don't mind food trucks. We just want some equity. Okay? So... You think about all the money we pay, and they just come in and sit there, and they take everything away, and they're not responsible or liable for anything. And then there's a state. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I took it. Uh, there's a state law that says that. Oh, yeah. This is, says what are the requirements for a food truck in Kentucky? And this says this was is per Kentucky government. All temporary food vendors must have a permit from the local health department. Permits are valid for up to 14 days at one location as long as the operator remains in good standing compliance with re regulations. So see, I don't even think so that our that health department is inspecting them. Right? Like we don't, they're coming from out of county, we don't even know if they're inspected from anybody. They inspected Brian their day though. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you know, and to me that's a little odd because I think they do periodically. I mean, he's he's local, so yeah. you would think. But I that kind of threw me off. When right. He was so there, there you go. He did. He did. Right. I mean, look at all the out of town ones come in. Have they been inspected? Do we, you know, do we know? No, we're not against them coming in. We just want them regulated, and they have to, you know, buy business permits and pay like we have to. 
I mean, that we're just asking for fairness. That's all we're asking. And and and, and I think if we make it a little harder, they're not going to come as much. But that's okay. I mean, I'm sorry. It but, isn't with the you know, citizens who enjoy them coming in. Pardon me. It isn't for the citizens <coughs> who do enjoy them coming in. You know, the citizens can enjoy them when they come in, but they can also enjoy them in other places too. They don't have to stay here. They can go somewhere else and enjoy them. I mean, I'm just saying, Mary Bell, that it's not it's not fair. You think about it. If you had your own business and somebody was coming in and they were not paying a thing and you've been working like a dog, you wouldn't like that either. So I paid school tax me. all my life, it's irritated me to death. <laughs> but it's fact, so But, but they it do it doesn't have to be. It can be more fair. They have had to pay, right? Some yeah. I mean they don't just come and park. They have permits and they such. Have have permits, yeah. And our current update is increasing those it's my understanding. I didn't see the old ordinance. I wanted some changes made in the original not to affect nonprofits. That, that, and I'm thinking, and I reached out to a tiered ad, and they made $200. Is that minimum? I mean, is that minuscule? Maybe. It's a $200 they wouldn't have got from the board. And my thing, it's a bigger entity even than city because that's site-based decision councils making those calls or, you know, recommending those to the board. Uh, and then I haven't reached out to the Foster Care Association, but I know that they set up in Bob's and they have their ribeye sandwich sales. So uh, my intent in having some updated changes was that it was not going to affect any nonprofits or fundraising efforts. Now, if that lessens them and they come into the city less, is that, I mean, we're not saying not at all, right? We're just saying less? We're, yes, and we're not even against the fundraising. That's not even, right, that's not. But when you've got <coughs> an establishment and they're not fundraising and they have a truck there every day for three weeks, that's, that's a lot and, of and, and I'm sorry. I don't know who is that or when was that. And who is that? I don't. I haven't seen that. It's so. signature. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Well. Okay, so I will say that one of the things that I see as as a citizen, mayor of Hartford, whatever you want to call it, I believe that we should be protecting our business businesses here in, in, in the Hartford as well as in Ohio County. And like you said, you know, that might be an opportunity if they did foresee a business growth here with that truck, they could find them a location to so I see I see the ins and outs to what's being said. And I think the the council members really want to because they just got it at five o'clock with the revised copy from, yeah. from Tara. So I think everybody understands where it's it's at. Give them time to review it. And I think they're in understanding of the importance of your businesses as well as any other businesses here. Um, so I appreciate you all coming and voicing your opinions because it does matter to us what what you all do on the business side to help the growth for the city. So it is important, and we do hear you. Thank you. All right. I appreciate that too. Appreciate you all. Um, okay, councilman members, uh, discussion. Councilman uh, David, do you have anything to bring to the table? <coughs> Stacia, do you have anything to bring to the table for discussion? No. Mr. Likens. Either one of them not having anything. But I don't <laughs> Nobody has nothing. Wait till he gets his name. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mouth of the South. Yeah. Bell. Mary Bell, do you have anything? No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Renfro, do you have anything? You're trying to make me pass that or what? Do y'all have anything? I just want to know is everybody, how's town, downtown look? It looks great. Yeah. Really good. Yeah. I think it's. Yeah. It took you a little while to get the spring flags out, but it. Hey, yeah. Turn it off for her. <laughs>
<laughs> we were still at no. the season's <laughs> greetings for a little while, but I mowed that lot. Right, and, mowed the little lot, lot and it looks good. Oh, is that right. still up there in your mind? Yes, it is. Okay. Very it pleased is with city workers. Good. Thank you all so much for all you do. Well, and it, it looks really good. And that's, uh, you know, that goes with all of our departments. I, I've tried to reach out to all of our department heads every month. We try to have a monthly meeting with all our department heads. And they and all of them are unique in their own ways. They're all doing above and beyond. And I think they're on the rise of seeing good things. You know, I take Jason's crew for example. They get up in the mornings and they, and they get up on Wednesday, Wednesdays and Thursdays on that trash truck and they don't have no complaints. Wouldn't that be a good lifestyle for everybody to live? Mm-hmm. That's the importance of what we do in this city, and I think that's unique in itself. The police department, the fire department, I just see good things coming up out of all of them, and I do appreciate every one of them, as well as our council's members. So. Mr. Mayor, we do want to um, voice our appreciation for the garbage crew. They have been amazing. We have boxes out there, and we don't even, like, we don't ask them. We usually haul them up. And we can, and they're gone. Yeah. So, I mean, they, it, it, it is one of those things that. <laughs> but it is one of those things. Free ice cream. Come get some free ice cream. What we tell them. Don't do that next week. I'll be on the garbage truck. And David's going to tell them we're going on vacation. But it is, it is something that I. Um, I, I want people to understand the importance of that job in well, itself. Well, we do appreciate it. Um, like I said, we have not ask, and we have chased boxes sometimes yes. with the wind blowing. Because in the hot summer days, it's, you know, They've in the cold winters, job, the right. rain. We really do appreciate it. I mean, it's... Um, I used to do the first things. I think I've got my dream job. I said, you wait till one of the 100 degrees or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, just an update. Um, we, had a, we had our first meeting yesterday on the Oktoberfest. We, we formed a committee, um, and I, I think this is going to be a good thing for the city, and I appreciate everybody that's involved in that to get this ball rolling. Um, we'll keep everybody updated as, as things come forward on all that. Um, do I have anything else? Why don't you, just a thought, and then we got a whole another year, but think of something, a happy medium between after Christmas and spring, you some kind of banners that we can change. Mm-hmm. You know, that'd be a thought to look at it. With a, yeah. It's either that American flag or go from straight to winter or straight to spring. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I would, we can get that done pretty. You know, that's just something that y'all can throw around what y'all want, you know. Yeah. Um, also, I think you and Meredith has been working on the signs, maybe. Yes. Hard for time. So we're trying to phase that because it's been out there forever. So, so maybe we'll have something pretty soon on that as well. Um, all right. Do we, who do we call them when the street lights go out? Well, call, okay. call Lisa. Which one's out? One on 1543 right there at our turn in. Okay. What do you do if they work sometimes? It keeps going out all the time. Let us know which one it is. Like they, it'll come, come on and it'll stay on for a while, and then like the next night it's not on. Then it's it's on might be getting close to. Also, for the public's information, you should hear the sirens tomorrow. Tornado sirens. Um, they are should be up and running. And fixed. fixed. Yes. yes. No, tomorrow might yeah. not be a good day. <laughs> yeah. 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 So be pretty windy. I know. So, but that is something else. I think that, they're working. I talked to Charlie. Yeah. I got an invoice on the one at Wayland. Something that we think that's like we got to. I'll have a key. Please, somebody have a key on the outside to where if we got to and it's not working, somebody can manually turn it off. Turn, that's that's talk to. Well, I saw them out there working. Yeah, when they put My phone blows up. Yeah, I'm sorry. All right, I'm going to ask for a motion to adjourn this meeting. A motion that we adjourn this meeting. I second. First and second. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Pulls like side. Motion carries. Thank you all. Thank you all for coming. Yes.